We all have problems getting things done. I have a great example that happened to me years ago. I was thinking about joining a fitness club and it was near the end of January. And so I went in and I went through the demonstration and talked to the representative. And the one thing that bothered me was I said, there's a lot of people here, it's quite crowded. And he said, oh, don't worry about that because it's, we're right after the New Year's resolution time. And what he told me was a very interesting statistic of the people who sign up for a lifetime membership, the average number of times they come is six. So they come with great plans. I'm gonna go every day for the end of my life. And then they only come six times. So he said, just wait a month and you'll see that this place is relatively empty and you can exercise as much as you want. In fact, I joined and he was right. So what's happening when we plan on doing things? We're motivated to sign up and give our money and sign on the dotted line that we want a, a lifetime membership and then we don't follow through. There's research that was published in the British Journal of Health and Psychology. What they did was they had 246 college volunteers who all wanted to get in shape, like I did. They randomly divided them into three groups. The first group was simply asked to track their exercise. The second group was given some motivational materials and asked to track their exercise. The third group was asked to write down when, where, and under what circumstances they planned to exercise and then record their exercise. The first group that was just asked to track, they did 35% of the exercise they had hoped to do. The group that was given motivational materials and asked to track came in at about the same in fact, they were at 35%. The third group that had to write down when they planned to exercise and where and how did 91%. In psychology, they call it if then plan. If I say I wanna work on my business plan for my, for my new startup business, and I have this hope, I have this motivation, but I never get to it and I never get it done. But if I do a if then plan statement and execute on that, I will increase the odds of me getting work done tremendously. So for example, if I get off work on time, then I will spend 30 minutes writing on my business plan. What you'll find is that every time you get off work, you already have in your mind, oh, I need to do 30 minutes on my business plan and you will do it. The odds go astronomically much higher that you'll actually work on your business plan. Now, sometimes you won't get off work on time. So then you have to have a plan B to the if then plan. And the plan B is, if I don't get off work on time, then on the way home, I will at least think of three things that I need to include in the part of the business plan I'm working right now. So you have an action happening if what you predicted happens, and you have an action plan if it doesn't happen. But in either case, you're going to execute on a routine basis <clears throat> and it will become habit. This effect has been studied in numerous things. Catherine Milkman has done a whole series of studies on this with flu shots every year. They've done it with weight loss, they've done it with meditation, they've done it with exercise and working out, as well as many business applications. Motivation is not enough. Try this on something that you've had difficulty getting motivated to do because it moves it from will motivation to do if then plan. Way before you leave, you might like to tag this other video right here.